Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 8 of the Disgaea 2 PC LP. Um, in the last episode we did a couple of the tutorial stages. And honestly, the fact that, uh, and we did, uh, got a few DLC characters. So, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's honestly amazing to me that, uh, I'm already two episodes into a demo mode and we haven't even finished the first one due to the DLC. Hey Axel! I know you. We ventured out to the frontiers of Veldine in search of a vicious hero who was spotted in the area. Wait, what's this? I can't believe it. Look out! It's an invisible laser. Yeah! Did you see that? Cut! Axel, <laughs> How many times do we have to go over this? This is for the traveling channel! We don't need action scenes for this travel show! So stop making up traps and enemies! But I'm the host! <laughs> Axel, Axel, Axel. No one expects anything from you anymore. There was a time when you were lighting up the stage as the dark hero. But that time is long gone. Who are they? That is him. That blonde man over there is Overlord Zenon. That is my father. What? Really? But he looks so young. Can that guy really be your father? Ah, ah. Are you filled with terror now that he is standing before you? Uh, no. Uh, that's not it at all. But I, I can't just attack him from behind. I must fight him head on. Can you defeat him that way? He is known as the god of all overlords. I won't lose. I have to save my family. This human, his family must be important to him. But if they are so important to him, he should stop fighting lost causes that will only get him killed. Nothing ever comes from dying. What a fool! Fighting is so sad. Hey, Director! Look! Well, hello there! I don't want your stupid autograph! I want your life! Huh? Wait, am I unscrewed? I feel like they almost skipped a line. Like, hey, do you want my autograph? No, I don't want your autograph, I want your life. So this is just an introduction to Axel. Um, this is his first appearance ever. So, <laughs> it's almost interesting that they just introduce him so... Um, one-sidedly. Like, oh yeah, like this, this dude's just a dude. Um... Let's take you out. Uh, I can't get you yet. Uh, can't get you. No. Good uh, So it seems like all the DLC characters just use their Japanese voice lines, which makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use Pram. Okay. Already making a lot more progress than would be otherwise. Over there. Hello there. Ah, yeah. Um. 
Nope. Ooh, Crimson Flame. Interesting. Eh, I'm just gonna do that. This might not actually kill him, because, um, Gig is weaker. Eh. <laughs> Funny. It's like, Magic Change is supposed to be a much stronger alternative, but it's just not in this case. Um, so I'm just gonna move her away. And now I can try that other move. Crimson Flame. What's going on with this? Okay. Oh, come on. How much magic change do I have left? Okay, I got two more turns. Um... Thirty-seven. And turn. Oh, can you not counter? Uh, I wish Gig was stronger. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something like this. There. Can I get some counters going? No? Okay. Um... Gonna defend. And end turn. Oh well. I was hoping... I was hoping the gig magic change would be a bit better, but I guess it makes sense. Okay. Five, five, five... Okay, so the Crimson Flame is just an Adele move. Makes sense. Much better. Okay, so Magic Change is not going to be better than most things for a while. Looks like that poor Sod wasn't a strong enough substitute for my father. Although... This Adele fool is tougher than I expected. Though he's just a human, he has the strength to defeat demons. He may be my enemy, but he fights well. <laughs> Killing him will be much more satisfying. I, 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 I did it! Oh yeah! The mighty Xenon goes down! Hmm? Oh no! It appears I had not looked closely enough. That is not my father. It is just some idiot. <laughs> it sounded like she said that in yuff. <laughs> it's dev enough. You've got to be kidding! Now, now, calm down. Even princesses make mistakes. Let's go. Do you doubt my sincerity? You believe I purposely confused myself? But I'm bound by your summon. You asked me to escort you to my father, and that is why I am out here with you. If you doubt my intentions, we should stop. Fine. For a moment, I thought I actually won. It's just been a big waste of time. <sighs> I am quite exhausted. Where may I retire to rest? Everything's you, 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 you. Fine, let's go back to town. I'm getting hungry. I hope I will find something to my liking among your sloth. I have very picky taste when it comes to food. I don't know what you like, but Hanako's cooking is way better than most chefs. Then I shall look forward to that. I am ready to feast now. I need to find Overlord Xenon before his curse gets worse. I don't like asking that girl for help, but I have to depend on her. For now. It 
It's six o'clock and time for the news. We are broadcasting to all nether worlds and throughout space in Gigavision. Earlier today, in the frontiers of Veldheim, Axel, formerly known as the Dark Hero, has apparently been murdered. We have received reports that Axel was assaulted while shooting on location for his low-rated travel show, Tripping with Axel. Very little is known, and due to the hassle investigating poses, the Netherworld police have simply ruled it a homicide. With no suspects, the case was deemed insolvable. Though he was a mega star at one time, no one cares enough to look for him. His funeral was attended by a very small group of relatives. No tears were shed at the service. And now, for a moment of silence. Coming up next, we have a special report on today's public education. <laughs> oh god, the kids look adorable. Recent standardized test scores show an alarming decline in the subjects of lying and torture. The Dark Board of Education. Kids' common sense. So, it's interesting because you, like, I, you can almost guarantee that either they know he didn't die or, like, the family was altered to be more caring and relatable in the Dark Hero Days part. What is this? Where am I? Is this a battlefield? This place is so depressing. Is that father? So you still haven't found Overlord Xenon? You really trust that lady? Maybe she's just playing with you. Of course I can't trust her. She's a demon after all. That's why we have summoning rituals. So, Adele, what do you think? I promised her I'd take her back to her father. It's as simple as that. I always keep my promises. That's just my style. Stop pretending to be cool, or I'm gonna tell Mom. You're just gonna get hurt. I don't care. I can't help it if I was born this cool. Adele! I woke the lady up for you. Oh, thanks, Hanako. Hey, Adele. I think she was crying. Her? Crying? You must have been seeing things. Maybe he did something naughty to her. Sexual harassment. Adele's going to jail. How do you even know what sexual harassment is? Besides, I don't do that sort of thing. Hmm. This was the first time I've ever slept inside a doghouse. It was an interesting and valuable experience, I must say. Hey, that's not a doghouse. It's my house. Now, now, she is the daughter of Overlord Xenon. Compared to her gorgeous mansion, our house must look like a doghouse. <laughs> okay, Adele. You'd better go defeat Overlord Xenon today, or else we're going to turn into real monsters. What kind of mother threatens her own son? Oh, ho, ho, ho. With this third eye, I can threaten anyone I want and not even care. If you don't like it, change us back. Don't forget to bring back souvenirs, Adele! <laughs> These are the people I'm fighting for? Uh, Rosalind, the liar. <laughs> yeah, his family does seem like a bunch of douchebags. <laughs> Except for the dad. Adele, you have to come back by dinner time, okay? I'm coming off to be Zen on you now. <laughs> hey, Adele, what do you want? Okay. So, his dad also has, like, a head on his chest, which is weird. Adele, you're happy you get to date a pretty girl? Stupid. Of course I'm not happy. I don't like demons or girls. I really seem to dislike girls. Do you have some kind of trauma? Hey, Adele, can you bring me back a Metopia chocolate bar? No, that's something only demons eat. Ah, oh, why not? I was a demon since I was born. Um, okay. So, let's save. And I feel like the save is a lot faster in this than it was in, uh... Uh, Axel mode. So, one interesting thing that I uh, didn't touch upon. Ugh, God. You better take me to the real Overlord Xenon this time, okay? Very well. Uh, let me get my bearings. Uh, my father resides over there. Over there, huh? Why do I get the feeling you're just pointing in a random direction? Oh, ye of little faith. Hm. My father and I are bound by strong family ties. When we listen to our hearts, 
We can feel where each other are. Listen to your hearts. Okay, fine. Listen, I do trust you. Y you you are really going to trust me? I am the daughter of Overlord Xenon. I am a demon, and you intend to kill my father. What part of that equation gives you the notion that you can trust me? Are you mocking me? No, no, I'm not. It's just that I promised myself that I would trust you. You know how I am with promises. You are very odd. Humans do not normally trust demons, do they? My textbooks never mention that humans like you exist. So it's interesting because um, this is the game where uh, they just say like there's a prolification or proliferation of like a bunch of people of demon lord status, like Laharl's netherworld. Just a bunch of people got super strong, so they left and went to other worlds and made those netherworlds as well. And I thought that was really interesting. And I'm just noticing how similar. Um, uh, I guess another princess. Um, I'm just noticing how similar uh, Adele and Valvatores from Disgaea 4 are kinda in their manner of promises. Uh, hey, why did you say that you want to summon a princess from another kingdom all of a sudden? Uh, there are many netherworlds with many different cultures. I would like to see other royal women for comparison. A princess, huh? I've never met any other princesses, so I wouldn't know about that. I don't know. I think if we get someone else like you, it only causes more trouble. You're the one who summoned me, and now you have the nerve to say that I'm nothing but a source of trouble. No, that's not it. It's just my house is small and pretty basic, and I don't need any more women to deal with. Rosie is all set. Next ingredient will determine what kind of personality you want. Summon a spell search for. What do you want? <laughs> like if you add this, she'll be very cultured. And with this. I think I like the way this one looks the best. This super high res thing that's obviously added. Oh, you picked that one? This should be exciting. Hey, what'd you toss in there? That statue was standing next to me. Oh yeah, that was a cursed item. I know she'd have to be crazy to use that thing, but why do you even put it next to her? Who are you guys? I've never seen you before in my life. God, that art style is so different. Huh, isn't she a little too provocative to be a princess? Is she another world princess? Do you think your clothes are a little too dark? Princesses should wear more brightly colored dresses. Which kingdom are you from, princess? P princess, your highness, shut up. Okay. Uh, just want to get a gig. So, uh, yeah, like Adele and Valvatores are both very big on promises, and I thought that was interesting because even though they are both similar in that aspect, like that's an important part to them, I find Valvatores is so much like. Like, I like Valvatorius more, and it might be because he's a bit more charismatic of a uh, character, whereas Adele is just kind of likable. Well, that last ingredient was a little too dark. Please accept my apology. I wanted to see some other princesses, so I asked how I could have summoned you. Oh, God. Oh, I shouldn't be yawning as this much. I'm sorry. But I added a strange ingredient to the mix, and you were summoned instead. I'm deeply sorry. Oh no, please don't be. I simply got a little emotional because a stranger called me princess. Are you not a princess? No, I am the queen of the kingdom of Paprika, the Claire. But I'm not actually a Claire either. I was created from a Claire's dismay and pressures from being next in line. I didn't quite expect this kind of personality, but she qualifies as a princess. 
It's because of your last ingredient that this eclair was summoned. I didn't know queens had it so tough. Is that comment directed towards me? Excuse me, but my sister is waiting for me. May I return now? Uh, sorry, I'm still studying up on how to send you back. You cannot be serious. I'm sorry, Claire. I shall look after you until you grow accustomed to this place, so please don't cry. Will I ever be able to return? Will I ever see my sister again? Of course, I'll help you return to your world of origin and see your sister. This is my solemn vow to you. Thank you. This is your first time in Veldheim, right? When we go sightseeing, you can tell your sister all about it. Dark Claire joined your group. Adele, I'm going to study real hard. I'll become a great summoner someday. Okay, it's time to read up. Good luck, Hanka, but don't focus so hard that your eyes go bad. Okay, so let's look at Dark Eclair, who's level 4, but was level 9 in the battle because of, uh, uh, because, oh, S rank with swords, that's not bad. Um, another personality of Queen Eclair is carefree and actually kind of nice. Special, specials gain star element. Okay. Okay. I might not use her. Might will. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I can just... Oh, wait. I saw a range, and I was like, oh, wait, I could use that. Um, put her right there. Uh, save. Do that. I go over here. Zenon's Palace. Banquet Room. Oh? There's a palace over here? Why do you sound so surprised? This is where you were guiding us to, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yes, I was. Uh, this is my father's palace. Really? Because it kind of seemed like you were just guiding us randomly for a while. And I expected more from Overlord Zenon's palace than this crumbling building. What? Are you doubting me already? So, you were just lying before when you said you were going to trust me. No, that's not it. I don't lie. When I told you I trust you, I meant it. I'll trust you till the end of our union. Is that so? Trust. It is such a beautiful word. <laughs> you pathetic fool. I'll show you what happens when you trust demons and enemies. Okay. So, what's this? Defense plus 50 percent. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. So gig. Roslyn. Throw. There. Wow. That's a pretty long range move. Okay. Just defend and turn. really wish there was the a skip move option. Because, like, turning off effects is kind of annoying, just because, you know, what if it's cool? Like, what if I haven't seen it before? I want to be able to experience it. But, oh well. And the reason why I'm not equipping all the DLC characters is because, you know, I also want to use the story characters as well. It's not just going to be a matter of, um, of just using characters. Uh, well, what I mean is I want to use the story characters, and if I equip all the DLC characters and they get strong, I'm not going to want to use them because their, uh, their usefulness will already be, like, all set in stone. Oh yeah, and I never checked the drivers for my controller to see if I could update them and uh, get it to work better.
Okay. Okay. Do that. Seven, six, but you can't do it, so it doesn't really matter. That's cool. Awesome. Pizza. Didn't remember that they had that item. I wonder how Adele is doing. You were threatening him earlier, and now you're worried about him? I guess I'll never figure you out, honey. Overlord Zenon stole our conscience. I have nothing else to say. Besides, there isn't much we can say that will hurt his feelings. Honey, do you remember anything about before? Not at all. I can't remember a thing. Stealing our memories along with our conscience. Zenon's curse sure is cunning. You're right. I can't remember the past at all. Important things. Um, so let's get her up. And honestly, I should just buy her some defensive gear. Um, like this. This is good. Um, she have less health, but she'll take by far less damage. And her speed and hit won't go down all that much. Um, good. Just don't want, uh, Rosalind to die all that easy. Even though her health is at 50. But, oh well. Um, save. Uh, probably do one more. Um, actually, no. I'm gonna leave that for next episode. So, with that, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, next episode, we'll make some more progress. So I hope you all have a very nice day, and will join me then. Bye.